of a ring with an outer radius of 10 and an inner radius of 8. So let's draw a sketch first. So we have a ring looking like that. And it says that the outer radius is 10. So I'll go out there to 10 total. And it says that the inner radius is going to be 8. So that's going to go there. Okay, the fertilizer is going to be purchased for the garden, and each bag of fertilizer can cover three square meters of area. How many bags of fertilizer should be purchased to have enough to cover the garden? Okay, so the garden is this region right here, which would be the difference between two circles. Recall that the equation for the area, or formula for the area of a circle, is area equals pi r squared. So in our first goal, let's find the area of the garden. The area of the garden will be equal to the big circle minus the smaller circle. Since we were given radii this time, that means the big circle would be pi r squared minus the inner circle, which is pi 8 squared. So that would be literally the area of the actual garden. Now we need to figure out how many bags of fertilizer we need to fill this in. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to divide by the size of a bag. Because we're going to get literally the amount of square footage, or square uh, meters I guess, inside of this garden. But we need to divide by the size of a bag to figure out how many times the bags will go into this garden. So since the size of our bag was, it covers three square meters of area, we're going to take this answer and we're going to divide it by 3. Okay, so now it turns into a calculator problem. We'll use 3.14 as an approximation for pi. We we'll go 3.14 10 squared minus 3.14 8 squared all over 3. And I'm just doing this over here on my calculator separately. 3.14 times 10 squared minus 3.14 times 8 squared, taking that and dividing it by 3, and hopefully if you did this on a calculator, you're getting an answer that comes out to be 37.68 bags. But we do need to buy these bags, and you can't buy 0.68 of a bag. So when we go into the store, we're going to have to order a total of 38 bags in order to cover our garden. So that's the answer to this problem. Okay, same philosophy. Try one on your own here. Try doing this one. A circular pool with a diameter of 20 has a circular walkway around it that has a width of 2. Wood chips are going to be purchased to lay down on the path. And a bag of wood chips can cover 5 square meters of area. How many bags should be purchased to cover the walkway? So assuming you paused it here and gave it a good old shot, let's do it together. Here is our diagram, this time very similar, but this time they gave us a diameter of 20, which means all the way through the middle is 20, and then they gave us the width of the path as 2. So that would be an additional 2 like that. So now when we're trying to put these together, hopefully you came through to find the area of walkway. It's still going to be a circle minus a circle, but this time we're going to have a pi something squared minus a pi something squared. And what is the outer radius? Well, we're going to go from the center. We're only going to use half of the diameter, so that's 10. And then we're going to have the width of the walkway on top of that. So 10 plus 2, that would be 12 for the outer radius. And then as far as the inner radius goes, that would be from the center just to the edge, and that's not the whole of 20 as the diameter, that's just half of it, which is 10. So the two radii, the outer and the inner radius, should be 12 and 10. And then we're going to divide by the size of our bag here to find out how many times we have to use the bag. And the bag for us in this problem is covering 5 square meters, so we're going to divide by 5. So again, as an approximation, we're going to calculate 3.14 times 12 squared minus 3.14 times 10 squared and then we're going to divide that whole thing by 5 
to see how many bags are needed. So trusty old calculator, 3.14 times 12 squared minus 3.14 times 10 squared. Get that answer, divide by 5 to yield 27.632. And if this is going to be the number of bags we're going to have to get, how many bags we're going to have to go into the store and buy, we're going to have to round up to the nearest number. We'll always have to round, sorry, not the nearest number, we'll always round up. And we'll have to go in there and buy 28 bags of these wood chips.